Hi, hello, I am Mr. Auerbach. I will be your science teacher today. And today, we're continuing our discussion of energy, and uh, we're going to talk about a molecule that gets used in the body called ATP. And ATP is the way that your body uses energy, right? We eat food, um, and your body does things that need energy, um, but it isn't like uh, you have your cells here that have to do work like, uh, okay, I'm going to show you something really quick. Um, how does a muscle cell work? This is really interesting, actually. Impromptu demonstration of how a muscle cell works. So in your muscles, right, which are long strands that contract, right, they contract. That's what makes you able to pick up the things and put down the things. Um, and it works like this. You have these little units called sarcomeres, and it's just it's this little thing, and it's got uh, two different kinds of protein. It's got this kind, the red kind, and it's got this kind, represented as the black kind. And, uh, and then it also has these other things. And what they are is little ratchets. You know what a ratchet is? A real ratchet, not the word y'all use, like something's ratchet or whatever. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm going to pretend I never said that. But um, anyway, they, what they do is when the signal comes, and this is really interesting, you're going to learn how something works today in biology. Um, when the signal comes from the body to contract a muscle, what happens is the, these, um, there's these little spots that cover up part of the, the protein fiber, and when the signal comes, they disappear, and all of a sudden, these little ratchets stick to the other type of protein, and then they sort of, whoosh, they both pull inward. So they kind of, they go in like that. And when they do that, it causes it uh, to go, oh, arrow, it, it causes the whole thing to shorten because now it pulls the two bands towards each other I'm the black one. It's still in the middle, but now the things instead of facing that way are kind of like that. And so they pull it in. So it goes from being big to being small. And it actually does it a bunch of times. It's like like and you crank it in. Yeah. And it causes the muscle to contract. Anyway, the what point is, is what what? What is, what is this is just energy working in your body? Well, this is this is a uh, what I'm showing you is a process that takes energy. And then in a second, I'm going to tell you how it gets that energy, right? So, so this is contracting a muscle. These little things happen, and they literally, it's like they're pulling the two sides of the muscle cell together, and then the muscle's contracted, and then, then it lets go. Next time the muscle contracts, it pulls them in again, and that takes, that takes energy. The question is, how does that happen? turns out that the body uses this molecule called ATP to do this. And first of all, I'm going to say what ATP means, which is adenosine, adenosine, what Gigi said, triphosphate, I think that was Gigi. That was me. That was who? Yeah. It was Molly. Okay. And that was a sarcomere you said, right? Mm -hmm. You are more or less in line with my ear, I thought it was, anyway. That was a sarcomere, yeah, that, 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 uh, that's true. Um, so adenosine triphosphate. And the thing is, it kind of has this shape that I'm going to totally draw wrong. Uh, first of all, there's adenosine, uh, which is kind of like uh, from uh, from the DNA. Same thing. Same like uh, that's adenine. This is a related molecule. Uh, adenine, and then that has a, uh, a sugar attached to it, ribose, right? We've seen that before in DNA. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to quiz you on this. You don't have to draw this. I'm not going to make you identify it or anything. Probably, maybe I will. Maybe. Um, but the thing is, then it has these three things attached to it that are called phosphates. And this is what a phosphate looks like. It's got a phosphorus atom in the middle. Hello. And then uh, phosphate is PO4, meaning it's a phosphorus with four oxygens attached to it. And it's got a negative three charge because three of the oxygens have negative charges. Okay, fine. Big deal. Again, this isn't a chemistry lesson. There's something very simple at work here. So here's one. 
And here's another one. I'll draw one more right now. O negative, O negative, O negative, O. All right, so is this ATP? Say no. No. What is it? APP. Hey, what? ARPP. <laughs> it's it, it's a ADP, right? I'll ATP talk, is try, right? That would be that would be three of them. Yep. Yes, you can. So that would be three of them, and that's what we have to do. We have to add on another one. Here it is over here, waiting in the wings for its turn to be part of this molecule. So ADP plus PI, which means inorganic phosphate, because it's not attached to this organic molecule. Looks super complicated, right? It's not. It's not, because you don't have to memorize any of this. The, what you got to know, what do we notice about this thing? What's, what is something interesting to point out about these phosphates? What do you notice about them? It's like a phosphate, any molecule that is bonded with phosphorus, or is it just... Uh, the phosphate, actually, the group itself, the PO4 minus 3 is, is what's called a polyatomic ion, and it's called phosphate. It, when you all take uh, chem and phys next uh, year or next semester or whenever you're taking it, uh, you'll learn about polyatomic ions. It's, it's just a thing and it has a charge. Here's the thing though. Well, I guess what I want to talk about is this charge. So here we got negative charge, negative charge, negative charge, negative charge, negative charge, negative charge. Oh, negative charge, negative charge, negative charge. Do these like to be near each other? No. Say no. Yes, that's right. Very good. Um, they don't like to be near each other. Why? Because opposites attract. And opposites attract and similars repel. So these actually don't like each other. They repel each other. And so it's hard to get them on. And then it takes, in fact, it takes energy. I said yesterday that compressing a spring is like storing potential energy. Putting this together is like compressing a spring. And in fact, um, once you do that, because, and I'm going to simplify this a little bit. So here, P O four negative three P O four. They don't really like to be near each other, and so it takes a lot of energy to put them together. And once we once we do that, I draw this thing. It's called a high energy bond. It's like a compressed spring. And especially once you put the other one on there, now it's ATP. Now what you have is a compressed spring that is just ready to go. This molecule doesn't last very long. This is what, this gets made in your cells individually. You can't drink a cup of ATP and have more energy like you could like Powerade or something like that. Powerade is glucose and that gets converted into this so it gets used in your cells. Because what it does is once you put this third one on and then you, you could basically take it anywhere in the cell that you want and break it off and that'll create energy for you. Like, here's the thing, I'm gonna go back over here and I'm almost done actually, so just hang in there. So here's our, uh, here's our muscle cell again getting ready to work and here's the the ratchets that are attached and now I said we gotta we gotta get these to go like that to do it so what do you do you take you you pull up an ATP next to it actually here let me just draw it as A P P, and then I'll put our high energy bond here at the end so you literally I know this seems complicated but it's the last thing you need some energy to make that go like that physically just go boop, boop. And so what you do is you put that right there, and then uh, a chemical reaction happens that makes this come off and go back to being PI and ADP. And then a bunch of energy comes out and makes that happen. Oops. What does PI stand for again? Inorganic phosphate. It just means one of the P's by itself. Yeah. And so anyway, the energy just comes from, from that. And so... That is what I am talking about with the ATP. The ATP gives energy for reactions that need to happen in the body. And there's lots of millions of things that need to happen that need just a little bit of energy to happen. Actually, the very last thing I'll say. So ATP is the only way to do energy stuff in cells. You can't take... You can't take... Uh, whoops, wrong color. 
a hamburger. Oh God. Oh Saturn. I will edit that out. <laughs> what's what's in another piece of food that doesn't look inappropriate? It's a UFO. I was gonna say hot dog. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I hate you people so much. I can't think of anything that's not inappropriate. An apple. Here, an apple. What could be wrong with that? Um, We're saying it was so bad. That's an apple. It's a cherry. I don't know what it is. But you can't put an apple next to your cells and then be like, look, lots of sugar. Boom. No, you can't. You take that apple and in your body, in the mitochondria. It's the powerhouse of the cell. Powerhouse of the cell. The reason they call it that is because it turns the sugar in the apple glucose. into ATP. One glucose will make about 32 ATP molecules in a mitochondria. That's pretty good. And then good. you take the ATP to do that. So my, my little analogy here, the last thing I'll say is that um, how many of you have jobs? Or, or and you get a check, you get a paycheck, right? Um, I saw you at your job just the other day, right? Um, and um, so, or even if you get a check from your grandma for, for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever, you can't, if you, you know, you can't walk into the 7-Eleven with your paycheck or your $10 check from grandma and, and be like, uh, I'd like a hot dog, please, or, or, you know, a soda. You can't hand your paycheck to the clerk at the 7-Eleven. He's going to be like, what? I, I don't take that. What do you need? You need real money, right? So ATP is kind of like the... the the money. ATP is the money of the of the cell. ATP is what you have. If you want to get things done in the cell, you gotta have ATP and not get out of money. Apples. Alright? Thank you.